Hey, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So now that we have the right tables that we need there, I want us to, of course, have the drop down like this one here. So let's do that. We'll deal with subcategory a bit later. Um, after we add those here. So what I'll do is let's go back to, oh, by the way, what I said is in the beginning that every table must have its own, um, must have its own model. Uh, things work better that way. So what we'll do is let me close all the files here and let's go to the course model. No, actually a simpler one, a categories model. This is much, much simpler. We don't need all that baggage. So I'm going to copy everything from the categories model and create another one. So new file, paste, save this one. This one is going to be the languages model underscore model. Languages model dot PHP and let's save. Okay. So instead of categories table, it's going to be languages. And same here. Uh, actually, it should be singular. So language. Language model. So let's let me rename this. Rename it's singular language model. Okay, so the table is languages, that's fine. Whatever we are validating here is just, there's two things, there's a symbol, there's language. So let me select all of these and category and change to the word language. All right, so we're only checking if it's empty, that's all. We don't want to validate the type of input, the language is required for validation and then also Let's duplicate them. A symbol is required. We'll look for symbol and here let's put symbol because that's one of the columns. Uh, we won't call it symbol. Short, we'll call it short form or something. Uh, the short form. Oh, is it a language code? Maybe it's a code. We should have said code. Yeah, maybe something like that. Language code probably should change it. But this is all we need, really. And yeah, let's come back to languages table. And let's look at the columns that are here. And these are the ones, except the ID, of course. So let's put those allowed here because we are not editing the ID ever. So let's do that. Oh, disabled, I think, can be left untouched since it's available i put uh, that there and let's put that like so okay cool mm -hmm. don't leave any spaces that may allow uh, strange characters in there okay good language disabled this is all we need for the languages tape model and once we have this model now we can go to um where is this the courses view and no actually the admin controller and let's go to the edit section here so we have categories find all let's duplicate this and let's do languages find all so languages and we'll set this class name to just singular as language like this find all in ascending order okay that's fine now it's going to ask obviously what is this language file or this language variable because we haven't set it so right here where we are setting all our models we're just going to change this to language language like that and do the same language model as simple as that then now we can go to our view file, which is inside course edit tabs. Let's click there. 
and here we want to replicate what we did with categories so i'm just going to select everything make sure you start the selection from here copy that and let's go to where we have language right there let's move this to the end so that we paste properly oh boy what have i done <sighs> that hurts paste okay so instead of categories, now we move that to languages. These don't really matter. Yeah. Cat, cat, that's short for category, but we can leave it here, it's fine. So instead of category ID, let's select all those and change to language ID. And then here, language. Okay, very good. So this cut variable, you can change it to some other variable like lang or something to describe more what's happening here, but it doesn't really matter. It will still work as intended. So if I now refresh and uh, I click on language, uh, you can see now we have languages. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Very cool. Now we need to select the currently selected language, which, oh, it would have selected if it was there. So right now there's no language selected. So let's just say select language. Well, let's do the same for levels. Okay. So back again, we do exactly the same thing. I'm just going to go ahead and add a model here, even though it doesn't exist yet. So I'm just going to say levels is equal to level model okay i know that isn't there yet but that's fine so we have language subcategory for now we're going to ignore it um how about prices prices we're going to ignore that uh we have currencies as well mm, yeah so all of these Yes, we need models for them in order to read from there. Okay, no biggie. Let's do... Uh, we have level, we have price, we have currency. Okay, so level, price, currency. Currency. Uh, same thing here price model currency model double r okay we don't have those bad boys yet but that's fine uh, language is already there so let me copy these three and bring them to my edit section because i know here i want to read from the database i just want to use them for comparison so i'm just going to do one to one two three and change this to the word level change this one to the word price and change this one to the word currency yeah but unfortunately currencies is like this okay cool then i can remove these Okay, so we grab all of those guys and let's go to here where we can paste just like we are seeing here. Copy and let's do a level thingy. Let's paste. It should go all the way there. Paste. Okay, so language. Let's do level. And then just like language ID here. Let me just select that. Let me do this and then say level id like this cool let's now go to subcategory we left alone let's go to pricing let's do that select currency so we don't have a currency thingy here yet so language changes uh, to currency like that currency id 
Wait a minute. Huh. Yeah, I think that's about right. So here, this doesn't make sense. So let's change that to currencies like so. The rest remains the same. We do the same for pricing. Let's put a price thingy there. Paste. Uh, change every instance of language to price. All right. And that does it. Uh -huh. Pretty cool. Now, if I run this, I try to run this. I'm going to have errors because these three models do not exist. So let's change that and create them. So, of course, we're going to copy from language model. Copy everything. Create a new file in models. Paste. And let's create another new file and paste. And a third one and paste. So... We just have to follow these guys. It's level, price, currency. So let's start with level. Uh, let's change every instance of the word language to level. Okay. And then save to level model. Now level does not have um, a symbol. So let's remove that. And what else? Mm language this is still language let's change that to level and here the things we need are just level the columns and uh, disable disabled let me confirm that when we go to the course levels so there's level and disable and the uh, the uh what is this the um, the table name is course levels underscore levels there so should make sure we do that cool so that's it for the levels model let's go to another model we've just created and this one will be the um, prices model so let's change every instance of language to price and same with saving so price model just with language there let's do price like that and same thing here wait wait we have prices there's the name of the price why didn't i put price here anyway yeah oh there's price there already so there's name and there's price mm. so we have name and we have price cool um so name here instead of symbol let's add name a price name is required okay all right pretty good price model all done and ready to go so finally we do this one which is currencies so let's go to language let's change every instance of language to currency with a y and let's do the same thing here currency singular and same thing here currency model now this doesn't make much sense so let's do this currencies and here same thing what what do we have in currencies anyway we have currency and symbol so that does it right there. So currency symbol, a currency symbol is required. And that's it, really. We close that. Very good. So now everything should run as it should. So come back here and refresh. Oopsie daisy. So there we go. So it says variable level undefined variable. So it doesn't know what this is on line 78. Let's go to the admin, 78. Doesn't know what level is. Are you sure about that? Okay, that's a problem. I was putting pro here uh, when I'm supposed to just put singular. All right, and let's refresh. So now we have levels. We have languages. We have currency, US dollar. 
and we have um, price which is free so I want these prices to to show something the price name as well so what we can do is go to the landing page here right here where we have um, let's see where are the prices price is right there now what the viewer sees is just the price like this but I want to concatenate something else uh, like this and put that in brackets like so so price name and then I'll put a a space like that and in here I will put uh, instead of cut price I'll put symbol now I've used double quotes so it should evaluate this instead of show it as a string if you put single quotes uh, the evaluation won't work okay so symbol is not there in currency I hope I guess no it's there US dollar uh, what's going on oh this is not in currency it's in prices table so it's the name okay so in fact let's start with the name of the currency and then wait name and then price here the actual price okay great this way what we are doing is when I refresh I see free which is zero dollars or something uh, if we change the price to a different currency actually this is fine right there and then the currency US dollar let's see here what we have U ears dollar so we're going to do exactly the same thing there's US dollar but then let's display the symbol itself and let's leave a space uh, let's grab this guy put them there let's put symbol in there okay that way at least we have more information US dollar free all right pretty cool so now we have all the information we need to actually be able to save except subcategory we'll deal with that later but at least now we can save everything here up to this point except for the image and the file the video but the rest of this is good to go all righty then